Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take Day two, still, it's now 11.08 p.m. The burning sensation has been pretty consistent since this morning. It hasn't gotten any worse, but it hasn't gotten any better either, if that makes any sense. It's not even the pain that's bothering me the most. What's bothering me the most is I can't work out for two weeks. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> I work out at 10.45 a.m. on the dot every single day, five to six days a week. For me to not be able to do that for the next two weeks, it's literally affecting me. So I just sat down today. I planned out some more content for all my social media platforms, making sure that you're following me on everything because I always make my presence known on every single social media platform that I have. And I will leave the link down below. Other than that struggle of mine, last night I wasn't able to sleep because I just couldn't find a comfortable position for me to sleep in. So I'm hoping tonight is better. I actually prop myself up like I did for my mommy makeover. If you've seen my Q&A video or like a 45 degree angle with my legs propped up, I'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see exactly how I was laying. That's why I've been laying since last night and I've had two pillows on the side of me so I don't roll over. For me to sleep like this, <laughs> I feel like I'm suffocating. So I find myself, I actually woke up on my side and Dr. K told me not to do that. I will see you guys tomorrow and give you some more updates. Hey, don't mind my husband in the background, just ignore him. Um, he's playing video games, he's playing PUBG right now. But today is day three and I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. When I woke up initially today, I did have burning sensations like the previous day. But as the day went by, I felt like 10 times better. I haven't taken any pain pills today. I guess because of my activity level, like my husband was off today and he was able to help me take care of our daughter. So I wasn't like running around. So my pain level is about, a th I'm not even gonna say, it's about like a two now. Um, the only time I feel any type of pain is if I'm like trying to get up and I get up too fast or if I'm trying to sit down and I sit down the wrong way. I'm still going to keep laying like this because if I lay straight as well, that's when I feel like a pulling sensation and like burning. But other than that, I'm doing fine. I am keeping busy. I do have some consultations tomorrow with some of my clients for Dolly Fit. I've made the adjustments that I need to make to just fill in that time to figure out like my own fitness plan and my nutrition plan as well so today is Sunday and I usually on Sundays that's what I do I figure out the game plan for the next week I figured out what I'm gonna eat for the next seven days and I decided that I do wanted to do body recomp when I start working out again so I'm figuring out my whole fitness plan so I have an entire game plan for when I'm able to work out in the next week or week and a half or two weeks depending on what when Dr. K gives me the green light to work out this week I'm going to definitely focus on what I am consuming especially because I'm not burning more today was a good day I just wanted to say like this recovery and my tummy tuck recovery are like two different things like my tummy tuck recovery I was completely numb for an entire thing so I didn't feel any type of pain other than again when I got up but it's not like I'm hunched over I don't need a walker obviously I need to watch what I lift but I didn't have a weight restriction on my revision dr k just told me just don't work out for the next two weeks now with my tummy tuck i couldn't work out for six to eight weeks today is day four post-op i literally have absolutely no pain i am absolutely fine like my pain level is like not even a one anymore. Dr. K did check up on me today. Like he made sure that I was okay because obviously like he's a great surgeon. I told you guys he cares about his patients 110%. I told him that I was gonna have to take his phone cause he was out of pocket all freaking week. Like, 
<laughs> if you follow Dr. K on social media, on Instagram, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, he is a freaking character and he's so freaking hilarious. And we spoke a little bit about other things, but great conversations with him obviously as always really don't have any new news for you guys i don't know if i heal fast or my pain level or my pain tolerance is just up there and i don't feel pain <laughs> if i'm in pain my defensive mechanism is to just ignore it altogether and i'm kind of like a masochist so when it comes down to pain i kind of enjoy pain so it doesn't really bother me like the normal human being would so maybe that's why this recovery and my mommy makeover recovery was pretty much like a breeze for me but i hate not being able to like i'm obviously like grateful that i feel no pain or anything like that but i hate not being able to give you like or some type of like crazy ass recovery story or something like that again like i said dr k did tell me that the recovery should be pretty easy like i don't have to compress or massage or anything like that it's just a one two three thing i should be back to my normal self within at least a week if not two so yeah i will keep you updated if anything new arises i don't think i'm gonna have to do a day five or day six or day seven if anything i'll keep you posted on how the scar looks as soon as my bandages come off so as soon as the bandages come off because obviously i'm not gonna zoom into my crotch like <laughs> like that but as soon as the bandages come off i am definitely going to record and show you like the before and after so you can see exactly what dr k did because again like he's a goat but anyways good night and i will see you guys soon hi guys who child throughout the today the itching started subtle and then became very very irritable like i was literally pat patting my poom poom thank god i didn't have to go out in public because the incision itched so bad by the end of the day by the time i had to take put my daughter to sleep which is around like eight or nine oh it was so bad I literally had to tell you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my surgery page is dolly.reza. I will leave it here and there'll be a link below to link you to all of my social media platforms that I'm on, which is all of them. Make sure you follow me on all of them. Thanks. Yeah, it was no joke. I, <laughs> I was all like, my itching is so bad. I'm ready to fight like dead ass. <laughs> I don't know what to do besides pat, pat, pat because like, if not, I'll be like legit itching like a crackhead. Bandages are still there that Dr. K put on there. I'm gonna text him in the morning to see if I can actually take that off. Tomorrow will be officially a week post-op tomorrow. Now that we spoke a little bit about the itching, the only thing that I can say, I feel my belly button pulling down a little bit. So obviously like he cut, had to cut skin. So obviously like he had to pull my skin down in order to stitch me back up. But I didn't expect, I guess, to feel any different than I felt before. I thought that was something that you guys would like to know. This week, I could find myself a little bit more irritable because I don't have that extra hour, that extra hour and a half of peace and not quiet, but just a peaceful workout that is literally uninterrupted. It's chill i can literally take out all of my anger my frustration my annoyance my everything in that workout that i can be the mom the wife the person that i want to be throughout the day i get very annoyed when i can't work out it helps me with my mental health that is my one hour and a half of escape from the real world. I'm in my own little bubble, jamming out to my own little music, busting my ass, sweat, tears, blood, whatever, for that time. And then throughout the day, cause you know, I work out at 10 a.m. It's a woosa. I couldn't do that this past week. So I'm just a little annoyed. And I wouldn't say it's affecting my life at home obviously it's not but i can feel myself having not as long as a fuse maybe it's medium length 
it's not it's not short yet it's maybe medium length and I really need to get back into the swing of things summer is coming it's around the corner okay I still have love handles like I've had love handles for a while I have things that I want to work on and I have a timeline and I'm very anal when I have my eyes on the prize when I want something I will go a hundred and twenty five percent to get to my goal regardless of what I have to do okay so the fact that I can't work out I am on a schedule um, my mind is on a schedule wake up eat a snack work out take care of your kid do whatever you need to do do your consult calls so the fact that that workout time slot is not in place my mind is fucking all over the place that's my little rant it is what it is but anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow today i am officially one week yes seven days post up from my scar revision i told you guys yesterday that i was going to get in touch with dr k in the morning i was going to text him and that's what exactly what i did today i texted him late morning and i was all like hey dr k is it okay if i take my bandages off is it okay if i use dermaplasty or dermaplast i can't remember exactly what it is but i'll show you what it looks like here and if not what else can i use because the itching is driving me insane right something so minor that he could have easily just texted me back and just said whatever he needed to say no this man decided to call me to make sure i was okay and this is what i mean by dr k is top tier okay top tier because what other surgeon would do that what other surgeon would go out of his way to make sure that you are okay and mind you this is not his first time checking up on me this week this is his third or fourth time this week making sure that i was good okay like i said top tier not just his results are great not just his bedside manner but overall the individual that he is the person that he is is so kind and so caring and he cares about his patients he cares about his patients. I'm going to say it again. So his weight, you guys are complaining about his weight or stressing about his weight. His weight is well worth it. Dr. K is one in a million. You won't find another Dr. K. Okay. And if you do, then keep him. It is what it is. Make sure you hold him tight. And this is why I say that I will always stand and vouch for Dr. K because at the end of the day, top tier anyways during that conversation dr k gave me the green light to take off my bandages after i take off my bandages wash that area obviously i took a shower anyways and put some neosporin on it obviously help with the wound and help with the itching you know i had to ask him about working out because I was definitely I was ready I was like all right dr. K today is day seven you said one to two weeks post up I was telling my husband doc that's what dr. K said and I'm ready to work out so can I work out today do I have the green light or what he told me no oh my god corny lame boo tomato 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 I'm throwing tomatoes <laughs> he said nah not today we we're gonna wait on that we're gonna look at what your incision looks like and we're gonna wait we're gonna play it by ear because we don't want tension on the scar if you guys remember main reason why i got a scar revision in the first place this takes a way back to day one post-op and i told you guys exactly why it took so long for me on the or tables because my stomach wouldn't stretch down so it's was very difficult for Dr. K to give me a regular tummy tuck. He had to do an extended tummy tuck, make sure that I had enough skin to pull down. During that tummy tuck and that whole recovery process, my skin was very thin. So when it came down to tension, that is why I had some scar tissue, obviously from my previous surgery, the horn repair that I had at 15, but also because I didn't have that much skin to begin with so when he did pull it down it caused more scar tissue and it caused my scar to keloid this time around dr. K wants me to take it easy make sure I'm not doing anything too strenuous or anything like that because you guys know I go hard 
in the gym, okay? I go hard. No, I don't let no itty bitty ass dumbbells. I don't do no cutesy ass workouts, okay? I lift weights. No pain, no motherfucking gain, all right? I want all the pain so I could get these gains, all right? Don't forget to follow Dolly Fit by Dom, okay? But anyways, I was all like, Dr. K, I told my husband, I said I was gonna work out today. I told this man yesterday that I was gonna work out and he laughed at me. So you really gonna tell me that I can't work out? So I gotta tell him that he's right, basically. I was like, all right, whatever. I was a little upset, but it is what it is. I'd rather have a nice scar to look at than the other one that I had before. After that, he told me for the next two to three weeks that I need to just keep putting Neosporin on that and for the third to fourth week that's when I can start doing any type of scar treatment silicone tape which I don't advise and I told Dr. K as well like yeah I know you don't usually don't advise your patients anymore to use this, the silicone tape it definitely didn't work for me it definitely darkened up my scar even before I started keloiding so I just don't recommend that for anybody I mean if it works for you so be it but it definitely didn't work for me and I wasn't feeling it yeah, he's all like just keep me updated make sure I take a picture of the scar let's see where the progress goes and then he'll give me a green light somewhere down the road to start working out now make sure you stay all the way to the end because after I say my buys and all that other good stuff I'm going to show you the before and after and I'm also going to show you which is key on why I wanted my scar revision other than my keyloid that I want to go on and the little bulge that I want to go on. I wanted to show you the scar placement now because it was very difficult for me last summer to wear bikinis without me having to hike it up my neck basically because my scar was very revealing in the front you can definitely see it that where the scar placement was before to where it is now it's definitely a difference and I definitely see it already but I just want to show you the comparison don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're still on the road to being monetized they are going to start docking and taking away my watch time hours so please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and watch all my videos through if you haven't already please go back to the very beginning of this playlist from dolly makeover playlist and watch all my videos through thank you guys for your support i love you guys and i will see you guys next time bye